back here at City Field. Here's Francisco Lindor. Lindor was born in Puerto Rico, but actually played his high school ball in Florida. Just off the outside edge. 1 and 0. And another ball. 2 0 count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully, you can get back into this count. That one misses. Ball three. And there's ball four. Here's Brandon Nimmo. That one is upstairs. Lindor gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch is downstairs. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just That's couldn't get him to offer at it. And that misses as well. Right-hander kicks deals. That's in there. And the count is three and one. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Flaherty a move to first. Lindor back in standing. a full count. And a pitch. Inside ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. And now it's Mark Vientos. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Right through there for a strike. and fires and that's oh, outside one and two to count well Boog, early on in this one having a hard time getting settled in he's not showing control to throw strikes and let alone the throw where he wants in the strike zone this could be a tough one for him the pitch now fly ball to right center bets on the move drops into the glove runner tags at second and he's in safely at third with one out. Good read there at second base to move out to third. Here. Now it's a lot easier to get that run in. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Inside just missed. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball two. Just miss. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, it's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Here's Jesse Winker. Golden opportunity right here. First pitch misses. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Swing and a miss as he was late. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Hit hard. the extra bases. One runs in. The second run scores, and that's a double. Now a relay to the plate. They were timed it up. 
up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, it takes so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite hey. field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Man at second. And one there's ball, a ball. Two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Starling Marte up to hit. Wouldn't chase that time. Ball one, no strike. Man on second, two down. Just missed. Right-hander deals. Popped up. Lux gets under it. Falls it in to end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the veteran outfielder, Teoscar Hernandez. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, a 3 0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this hey. ball game. Got the bat going too soon at strike no ball, two. two strike. Next ball, pitch count. just misses, and the count is one and two. Out to short. Fires over to He's first. Right. Leadoff man retired here in the second. And now it's Gavin Lux. Hey. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Hey. Late with the swing there. On two. Left hand batter waits. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Los Angeles, Will Smith. Fought off foul. Outside. And one and one. This one in the air center field. Nimmo pulls that one down, and that is that. Bottom of the inning, and stepping in for New York, number 11. Clarity back to work. Hard hit left side. Throw on to Freeman. And quickly one away in the second. Francisco Alvarez. Up now for the Mets. Fastball in the corner at the knees, and it's a strike. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the, the strikeout. <laughs> so the lineup flips over. And now it's Frankie Lindor. A walk and a run scored his first time. That's in there. That's strike one. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Foul ball. Two out, space is empty. Oh, 
Freeman He's takes up. it to the bag. Three up, three down, inning over. Top half of the third He's inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. Max Muncy. And the pitch. There's a strike. All one's the count. Right side, hard hit. Toss to Alonzo. They get the out on Muncy. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Miguel Rojas. That misses, and that's ball one. That one ripped. Nimmo going back on this one. A dive, and he can't haul it in. And it bangs up against the wall. Now around second, going for third. And he's got himself a triple. Everything came together for him. He somehow got to that outside pitch and pulled it hard into the outfield. Not exactly what you're supposed to do with that kind of location, but you wouldn't know it by how the ball came off his bat. And the first offering is not close. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. The 1-1. One, one. And that one is lifted in the air. Marte puts it away for the out. Two away. So the batting order turns over. Here comes Chris Taylor. He struck out swinging in his first at bat. Way outside, ball one. Two outs and a runner at third. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And it's swinging to miss. I got a ball, one strike. The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Off the middle, that's a base hit. In comes the runner from third, and it's now a two run game. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle, didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Bats. The next to hit takes outside. a bullet but it goes foul Taylor off the first with two away and now the count one and two after one the ball. swing and the miss two straight. Three. come on and miss struck him out out number three Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Edmund in position. Makes the catch for the out. Mark Vientos, the next to hit, he's all for one. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Comes up empty. That's strike two. No ball, two really strike. good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere oh, he wants. Off the mark there, and it's one and two. The why to kick the pitch. Hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't no, feel no, any vibration no, in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Oh, Had a bad slider oh, by any means. It was down and away, but 
an even better job to spoil that thing. And he let it travel, didn't try to hook it. Man, that's a really good approach. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is 0 and 2. That's the third. One at second. What a double play that was. Inning over. Back here in Queens, Freddie Freeman up to the dish. As the lefty gets to work. Line drive. Marte makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez measures six feet two inches, 31 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Ball one. That one missed. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. And he hits a ground ball right ball side, down. and it goes just foul. Three. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Gavin Lux digs in now. Second Struck out three. swinging his Gavin first time. Lux. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Two down, nobody on. In the air, left side. Winker makes the catch, and that'll do it. And we're back, ready to go, bottom four. Down the left fielder, Jesse Winker. Larry, back to work. Right through there for a strike. Foul ball there. Here's the 0-2. And they'll do it again. I'm so glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Hernandez under it. And it's caught for the out. J.D. Martinez stands in. Now Went down on strikes his first time through. J.D. Martinez. There's a swing and a miss. All one's the count. And it's quickly nothing and two on the designated hitter. One Slider ball. misses outside. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. The punch out there. And there's two down. The right fielder. Here's Starling Marte. Out to short, Rojas. Slings to first. That's the third out. Inning over. New inning getting started. The batter now will be Will Smith. Will Smith. And a pitch. Missed Ooh, inside with the curb. You know, these Dodgers just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them. Right. So they haven't exactly been hit one the ball one. gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Out front and foul to the left side. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, definitely a breakdown in his mechanics on that one. He just lost the handle and ended up way off target. 
Muncy batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Fastball for a strike. And here it comes. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Nobody out, runner at first. That nope, misses the zone, and yeah, the count one and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the play discipline to lay off of that pitch. And that one missing low. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. And a good eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's too high, ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. And next for L.A., Miguel Rojas. He tripled and scored his first time. That one catches the zone, and that is strike one. We get bat right here with an opportunity to do damage, but on the flip side, ground ball, double play, strike out. That could get the inning back under control on the mound. First and second, no outs, and we're at the top of the fifth. Got him swinging. Tommy Edmond fly to right his first time. Okay. At the dish, Whoa, looking man. to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Two on, one out. That ball misses. Pass. Ball two. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in. Elevate his pitches and get back into this at bat. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Winker hurries it back in. They hold him at third base, and now the bases are loaded. No, no, no. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Taylor up for the third time and takes ball one. Pitch. Hey. Base is loaded. One ball, one, one away. Next oh, offering dude. is downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. That one misses. Three and one. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow hey. everything down. Next offering is in for a strike. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. One runs in. Here comes the throw. Save. It's 3-3. Three, three gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Now, really now, nice job staying in the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much yeah, with yeah. the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here's Mookie Betts now. Right through there for a strike. A runner at third with less than two outs. This is the guy that usually comes through in these spots. Edmund on third. Taylor over at first with one away. The belt and fires. And that's outside. Okay. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
And up next for Los Angeles, Freddie Freeman. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. You try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And fouled off. Step off throw to first. Taylor gets back easily. Corners are occupied with two down. Just missed. And that one fouled off. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. Oh, and you're tied up. And a curve misses outside. Just off the outside edge. And the count is filled up. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. We head to the bottom of the fifth. The batter now, number 11. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Just missed. And the righty deals. Outside, that's the ball. Swing and a miss. Two and two. <laughs> Swings and misses. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Francisco Alvarez. Over one. He struck out swinging last time. Yeah, that's that skips in the dirt. One out, no base one, is no empty. Strike. Misses inside. inside. Two and oh. Oh, looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. And he grounds one to the right side. He takes it on his own. Two up, two down. Back to the top of the Mets order. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Lindor. That's in for a strike at 95, and it's 0-1. Right side, Lux. Sends it to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Back here at City Field, here's the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. And he deals. Just yep, missed. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Misses inside. Now 2-0. Oh. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Swings and misses, struck him out. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. That one finds the zone. It's 0 1. In the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Two down. And up to the now plate that, is Will that, Smith. That, that, Will Smith. There's a strike. Hey. And there at the knees. And it's 0-2.
And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this is it for him. That misses the zone, and the count one and two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. The line of the pitch. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This All outing one. started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Yeah. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And in foul ground, he pulls it down. One out. And now, Mark Vientos. Takes the corner. One one. Ground ball right side and foul ball. One down, base is empty. That one just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. 2-2 two, two now. Three. Got him. And there's two away. Here's Pete Alonso. On the corner for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Three. And that's in there at the knees. Good eye right there. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. And another ball. And he chases that one. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Oscar Brazobar. Muncy digs in. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. And a pitch. And ball one. Brazabon. In his second season, he features a changeup, a sinker, a cutter, and he works in a four seamer. And a foul ball. Next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, two balls, one strike. Big swing and a miss. Yeah, that's a swing you see a lot against a good sinker. Just right over the top. Tough to boil that up. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. A gigantic blast. It's 4-3. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So digging in, Miguel Rojas. One for two. And here at the knees. That's strike one. And downstairs. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And that is a foul ball. Nobody on, nobody out. Here in the top half of inning number seven. The shortstop takes the ball. Yeah. 
And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Tommy Edmond at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Count one and oh. One down, base is empty. And that one is in the dirt. And it's two and one. Good eye in that spot. Swings and misses and the build up. You got a foot down. Three, two. And a pitch. Right through there. Got him. And now two ball. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Chris Taylor down. First offering and it just misses. That's a little bit low. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. One fouled off, two and two. And down on strikes, third out. Here in Queens, now the left fielder, Jesse Winker. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. And a good eye there. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. In there at the knees, and a count one and one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Looking to get the tying run on base. And That's another open. ball. Down the left field line. Looks like extra bases. The throw into second, and now the tying run is in the scoring position. Having a really nice game here. That's his second extra base hit. Lake trying into the game. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And here is J.D. Martinez. Trying to hold a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. And a swing and a miss. One and one. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. and misses. It's a strikeout. Starling Marte getting ready to hit. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Two away down. Now it's the second baseman. Second baseman. Oh, on the outside corner, going one. Two outs and one in scored position. 
Ball oh. one there. Next offering popped in the air, right field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. I finally made up my mind to take a better stand. Concentrating my balance, give life a better chance. I'm too involved in God, not television. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Green Garrett. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. The pitch. Betts stands in now, looks at that one inside. Betts takes low. Two balls, no strike. That Three. one finds the zone. Two, Two and one, one now. Hey. There's a strike to Mookie. Two balls, two strikes. Squeeze through that one, it's a strikeout. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. And that one cutting but missing down low. Next offering is down low. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. Next offering way off the plate. Freeman will take his base. The bat. So a man Hernandez. aboard, Teoscar. and next will be the cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Hey. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Oh, one oh, strike count. 1 is so critical that in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Swing and a miss. Oh, two down. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. We Talk about just a ton of break. So tough to get that barrel to. Not one close with that Two one. Three. Ball one. Right hander kicks deals. Man at first, one away. In the dirt, but kept close. And the runner holds. Righty delivers. Three. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Winker makes the catch in and over. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Daniel Hudson. Well, one run game, Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. And here it comes. Ball and the one, first no pitch fight. misses for ball one. Wouldn't ball chase two. that time. Right through there for a strike. Hey. 
swings through that one out in front that time. Next one is off the plate. And now it's three and two. That's a really good take. He goes down looking. Now look to have Francisco Lindor. You don't get ahead in the count. You can forget about having any success against him. Just nope. missed. Count one and oh. The next Ball offering two. misses. And now two and oh. And that's in for a strike. Two ball, one strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Brandon Nimmo will hit next. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that one time. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Hey. Next pitch in for a strike, one and two. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. <laughs> Almost got him. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and they come away without an out. And next for the Mets, Mark Vientos. One for three. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So... If he can't do that, keep the line moving. A walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Right-handed reliever. Fouled off. He was late. Only two now. Three. Struck him out. Really fooled him with the breaking ball there. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Ryan Stanek. Well, one run game. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The pitch. That one's upstairs, ball one. And that is ball one. Left field. And that'll nope. get Foul off ball. into the seats. Kicks and fires. Swing and a pop-up. Settles under it. And there's one down. Here's Muncie to hit. He's the already homered in this game. Max Muncie. That one a little bit high. One and oh. And That's another ball. ball. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Now three and oh. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And he walked him. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate yeah, as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way.
Here goes the runner. Swing and a miss. Oh, and they got it. Just missed. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Kicks and deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Michael Kopech. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. We see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. He lines up. Now the plate. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And there's the strike. On one. That's through there for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tall for hitters to score that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. And a swing and a miss. A huge out to start the bottom of the ninth. He's two outs away. Here's the left fielder, Jesse Winker. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Pulls it in, and there's two away. So last chance for the Mets. Here's J.D. Martinez. Three strikeouts already. He's over three. No balls and a strike to J.D. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. That one is back. And that is gone. And we are all tied up. It's 4-4. And here is Starling Marte. In there for strike one. Trying to send this to extra innings. There's a strike at the knees. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Next pitch is outside. And the righty deals. Swings through it for the K. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. And we're back. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Tommy Edwards. And a pitch. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth. So here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button. Try to get some more runs and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. Next offering is in for a strike. And he's got ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. The ball. Just misses the mark outside the zone. In the air, right field. Marte has a beat on it, brings it in. Runner tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. Back to the top of the lineup. Here comes Chris Taylor. One out. Pitch out, but no action. One away with a runner at third. Here in extra innings. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. On the ground. Steps on first for the out. 
Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Bets in the box now. Take strike one. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. The relay to third, and he's oh, in there. A run comes in on the play. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Put a really nice balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. Betts on third with two out. This one popped up. And a base hit knocks in a run. Picks himself up at RBI. He'll take those blue pits off the end of the bat. Danny Young takes over on the mound. Runner at first with two away. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That's in there. And that's strike one. Young, 29 years old, he joined the team as a free agent. Two outs. One ball, one It's break. a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. At the belt and fires. Ball, that one inside, inside, and it's two and one. That's inside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Swing and a miss. 3-2. Three 3-2, two, two, three two, two, two out, out. runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the second baseman, number 11. Kopech back to work. Count Not one. even close there. And that's ball one. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Edmund going after it. He's got it. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And that one upstairs. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. That's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. Fastball for a strike. Up and in, two and one. You got two balls, one strike. On its way to the corner, Betts on the move. He's got it. Runner tags from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. Six, five, back within a run. So the man to the final out. So up next for New York, Francisco Lindor. That one in triple digits. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. A one-run lead, and we're in the last half of the 10th. Got him, and that's the ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. 6-5 the final here today.
A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton.